hello friends welcome to my tutorials once again in today's tutorial i will make a simple acme lead screw or a bolt conforming to ansi standards i will start with cylinder and i'll make initially a circle with radius 4 units and height 30 units now go to 3D and you can see its complete geometry. Go to 2D wireframe and make it shaded just to make it clearly visible. Next, I'll go to draw, select helix and select this point as center of helix. Now enter radius value as 4 units and the topmost radius as 4 units as well. Now enter number of turns as T and specify number of turns to be 12 and height 30 units. We have our helix here. Now before moving further I will make a new layer. Go to layer properties manager and make a new layer. You can specify color to this layer as well if you like. Now select this solid cylinder and put it on this new layer and turn this layer off. Now I have already made profile for our thread and I will insert it. So go to insert ribbon and select insert. Now browse and select your thread and OK. Now insert it here. Now you have to place it correctly before performing other operations. So go to top from view cube and in home ribbon select rotate command. Now select this object, your block, and specify its starting point. Select a reference and specify a reference direction. Now make this thing align with the center of this helix. I'm making this just to make sure that this thread profile is perpendicular to our helix. Now select this and explode it. I'm exploding it just to convert it into a simple polyline. Now go to sweep, select your profile and enter and then path. As soon as you select your path, you'll find this sweep profile created here. Now go to layers and turn this layer on. Now I'll go to subtract in boolean operations choose subtract select your main geometry enter and then select your thread and enter again. Now you'll see that thread has been cut out from our original cylinder. Now we have to make head of our bolt. For making head, I will select cylinder command again. Now select the center and this time specify radius as 10 units and height 4 units. Now go to polygon enter number of sides 6 and select this center just make sure to select this center the center of this lower face select the center and select inscribed circle option now specify radius as 10 units here 
we have our hexagon now go to solid and fillet edge specify radius as two units and select this top edge press enter twice now I'll remove some of these geometries by using press pull command you can either use press pull from this ribbon or you can go to home ribbon and use press pull from here so here I'll select press pull and I'll select this small geometry since I have to select remaining geometries as well so I'll select multiple from here and select all these remaining geometries as well one by one you can rotate this to make hidden geometries visible now after selecting press enter and click it you can see that the profile has been removed from our original cylinder all we have to do is remove these sharp edges so for removing those sharp edges I'll go to solid again solid ribbon and select fillet edge from here select radius and this time we specify a radius of one unit I'll select all these sharp edges rotate it as you can see I've selected all of my six edges press enter twice to accept your selection we have only one sharp edge remaining so select fillet edge again and specify a radius of 0.25 units now I will use chain mode to select this sharp edge and select this edge here as soon as you click on this edge you will see that all the edges which are tangent to this edge has been selected because we have selected chain mode prior to this press enter twice now here is our complete bolt the acne bolt conforming to ANSI standards you can make actual 3d realistic renderings either with AutoCAD or some third-party softwares like Keyshot as well the image which I have included on my YouTube video is actually 3d rendering with Keyshot software thank you guys for being here have a nice day